Welcome back to Let's Play Overlord, Raising Hell. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the Evernight Abyss, where, for some insane reason, the in the populace of Evernight are being forced to watch a really, really poorly performed play about the fall of their region. According to my calendar, yesterday uh, was the first of Ramadan, starting at sundown. Lose. Oh, oh. I mentioned this because uh, I like to do shoutouts to holidays. Given that Ramadan is supposed to be a time of you know, fasting and, uh, spiritual contemplation. I'm not sure if you're supposed to wish someone a happy Ramadan. So instead, I'll just say that, uh, yeah, that's exactly what should have happened. What is he doing up there? Fuck. Either way, did I not get up there from here? Fuck. Good thing they're so useless. How the hell did I thought that was that the fucking route led up to their platform? Like it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I could just walk over here this whole time. Yeesh. Gonna let me think this time? Great. Great. No, can't put out that fire. Fine. Brown. Blues. Red. Greens. You choose all. Where those rapes claim the dwarves get ready, sire. Ah, splendid work. Very moving. Reds! Couldn't get the oh. autograph, could you? Reds! But yes, either way, if you, uh, observe that particular tradition, hope things are going well. Of course, they're all wearing dwarf masks now. I do 
in which the dwarves attack Evernite, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. Come back. You didn't think we were done, did you? They're not coming back. Okay. Act one, in which the elven race live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. The constant jabbering does not make it easy to uh, record I, commentary. My friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two, in which the dwarves attack Evernight Forest. Dwarves! Dwarves! Oh, I've killed all the wraiths. Oh, uh... Yeah, there's a plot twist for you. No way. Can I use this? Oh. No, no, I cannot. To get to the uh, the the forge thing, I mean. No, it's gonna have to go around. The fu Blue. You choose all! Oh, I thought it would slide back when they let go. So it's holding on for no reason. No autographs, please. I must have my rest. At least you stopped talking. Oh. Hey, guys. I'm going to do something really stupid now. Lights down. Prepare for Act 1, you useless creatures. Uh, without the terror, the play can't progress to the third act. I hear it has a great ending. You must be right behind the stage, sire. It's where all the lovely, wonderful magic of the theater happens. <laughs> oh, that went better than the first time. Are you the understudies? Yes, as long as there are no further questions. This is a weird level. Act one, in which the elven race 
sleep peacefully deep in the ever night forest. Sup? How's it going? Is this distracting? Am I getting in the way? How's it going? Oh, god damn it. Hi, my friend. We are. Let us oh, that's kind of a lot of them. Let's get the fuck out of here. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. <laughs> Can't push it back? No. I didn't think so. I wonder. No, on second thought. Fuck's sake, why does it do that sometimes? There. Okay, here we go. Fuse skipped ahead of it. What is his problem? Oh, brother, how lucky we elves are to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, Undeserving of worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. This one? I have to blow that up? I guess so. Yeah, I think that's the old overlord there. Doing the, uh, the voiceover. Why is it dropping so fast? What the fuck? Oh brother, how lucky we elves are to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For, although she is a cold and uncaring harlot, undeserving of our worship, she alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two. In which the dwarves attack every night, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. Oh, great. We've really done it this time. Call it a plot twist, bitches. Fuck me. Alright, so where the fuck am I meant to? Blues, greens, browns. Fuck's sake, I took- God damn it! 
the opposite of what I wanted you to do. Oh. <sighs> okay. Oh shit, what's the point of any of this? What I was trying to do is get everybody over here. And then, uh... We just sneak around once everybody's out there murdering the elves. Protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For, although she is a cold and uncaring harlot... Oh my god, this dialogue. She alone will listen to our woe, our sorrow, and our poetry. Act two, in which the dwarves attack every night, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. <laughs> All right, fine. We're doing this. I guess I can get my guys back there, but why? It appears to be a mace mold, Dark Master. Is that so? Well, that's all well and good, but I can't actually get in there. So you guys get me... What the fuck are you doing? Why, are you, why is the controls doing that? Oh, son of a bitch. I think I get why it's still targetable. Sure, I'll just, you know, compose half my forces over here. Before we get that... I'm 
trying to remember where that, uh... No, the stone I saw was back there, I think. Act one, in which the elven race live peacefully deep in the Evernight Forest, protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. Oh, brother, how lucky we elves are to live in the bounteous green bosom of Evernight. Aye, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. Hmm. No, fuck you. This has been a really frustrating episode, you guys. Act two, in which the dwarves attack Evernight, crushing the elves into the ground of their precious forest. I found that if you point at a group, when you hit it, bring it down to just the first horn, then, uh, then you pull all the people just from that group. And if you have a specific type of uh, minion selected, then they... And you just pull the, uh, let's like, say, the brown ones out of that group. In which the elven race live peacefully, deep in the Evernight Forest. Protected by the unworthy deity, the Mother Goddess. I, my friend, we are. Let us pray to the Mother Goddess. For although she is a cold and harlot, undeserving of worship, she alone I'll figure out what the fuck to do here. And, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Overlord, Raising Hell. I can't perform under these conditions. Later. Sorry about this one, Burning Dog fans.